In this video, I want to introduce us to reflections. And I think it would probably be a good shout to just to start to think about, OK, well, the main things that we look at with reflections is reflections in the x-axis and reflections in the y-axis, and maybe y equals x. OK, so they might be our first initial thoughts. So the way that I'm going to introduce this, well, I'm still going to be using our tried and trusted rectangle, OK, to see what happens to it. But what I want you to start thinking about is if I just draw some axes and I choose a couple of points. So this is the point 1, 0, and this is the point 0, 1, OK? Then I know that... Um, the matrix that just represents transforming those points onto themselves is just the identity matrix. Okay, so the point 1, 0 goes to 1, 0, the point 0, 1 goes to 0, 1, and so they remain fixed. Okay, if I wanted to reflect um, in the x axis, what would happen is that this point here, 1, 0, would remain the same. But this point would reflect down here and would become 0, minus 1. So the matrix would look like this. So the question there then is, is this the, the matrix that represents a reflection in the x-axis? OK, so let's apply it to our matrix there and see what happens. So we have 1, 0 multiplied with each of these. So we would get 0, 0, 3, 3. And then 0 minus 1 multiplied with each of these, we will get 0, negative 1, negative 1, 0. So we have 0, 0. We have 0 minus 1. We have 3 minus 1, and we have 3, 0. And so our shape is there. And yes, it has reflected our rectangle in the x-axis. OK, so we know then, through our investigation, that this matrix represents a reflection in the x-axis. OK, excellent. So we've got that one. So then, how about reflecting in the y-axis? OK, so starting off with 1, 0, 0, 1. OK, let's have a look at our little diagram. This point here would remain exactly where it is if reflected in the y-axis, but this point would move over here. So rather than having 1, 0, we would have minus 1, 0. And 0, 1 has stayed the same. So this should be a reflection in the y-axis. So if we apply it to our rectangle, let's see what happens. OK, let's just get rid of uh, the rest of this. So can look at this from fresh eyes. Okay, there we are. So minus one zero multiplying with each of these columns, we're going to get zero zero negative three negative three, and then zero one multiplied with each of these, we'll get zero one one zero. So we have zero zero. This point here. 0, 1, that point there, minus 3, 1, which is over here, and 3, minus 3, 0. And so this has reflected our rectangle in the y-axis, as required. So you can see that looking at these two general points, here has allowed us to investigate and find 
two important reflection matrices. So reflection in the y-axis. Okay, right. So there was one last one that I mentioned, and that was reflection in the line y equals x. Okay, so that will be the last one that we look at in this video. So let's just uh, make that a bit clearer. There we are. Okay, so now if I'm going to reflect in the line y equals x, so that is this line here, okay, what's going to happen is that the point 1, 0 is going to get mapped to 0, 1. And the point 0, 1 is going to get mapped to 1, 0. So we'd be expecting that this would do the trick. So let's try our tried and tested rectangle. So 0, 1 multiplied with each of these will give me 0, 1, 1, 0. And, and 1, 0 multiplied with each of these will give me 0, 0, 3, 3. So we have 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 3. Is there some up here? I haven't really drawn this very accurately, have I? Right, if that's going to be 1, 0, then I've got to have it about there. So 1, 3 will probably be up here somewhere. Uh, still looks a bit crap. There we are. <laughs> Let's try that. try that a little bit better. It's the trouble with it not being very to scale. And then 0, 3 there. Okay? So what you've got then is uh, this point being mapped down here, this point being mapped here, this point being mapped here. So all of these points are being, being reflected in the y equals x line. And so this, as required, is our matrix that describes a reflection in the line y equals x. So following on from that, it would also be interesting to know the matrix that would allow you to reflect in the line y equals minus x. Okay, so the line y equals minus x, we'd be talking about this line here. So if we look at this from uh, the way that we've been doing these other matrices, uh, I'm not going to worry about checking it, but you can check it if you like with our rectangle. The point here, 1, 0, would be mapped down here to 0, negative 1. So we'd start off with 0, negative 1. 1, 0 has gone to that. And the point 0, 1 has been mapped over here to negative 1, 0. And so this is the matrix that represents a reflection in the line y equals minus x. Okay? Now, um, so yeah, so they are uh, the four main reflections that you need to be aware of uh, as part of this course.